The latest pick in Marvel Universe Deadpool and Wolverine is a completely multiverse movie. And because of the multiverse scenario it gives us some of the best cameos in some mean time. However at the end of the movie many of these characters dies. Now which cameos are in the movie and did they make it out? Let's find out. So guys before the cameos let's see if the movie's main cast make it out or not. The titular heroes Deadpool and Wolverine both were anticipated to potentially die in the movie, but despite the noble sacrifice they both survive. Deadpool and Wolverine may be on the older end of the scale for superheroes from the MCU, but that hasn't slowed either character's healing factor. While they walked toward an almost certain death to stop Cassandra Nova from using the Time Ripper, that is when both heroes took the force of the matter and antimatter explosions together, but they were able to withstand the worst of the damage by sharing the load. However, Cassandra Nova was not so lucky. While Cassandra was clearly more durable than the average hero, the explosive power of the Time Ripper was reversed thanks to Deadpool and Wolverine's heroic efforts. As the person trying to wield that power, Cassandra ended up taking the force of the explosion and was atomized in an extraordinary explosion that had the power to literally dismantle entire timelines. Possibly the greatest loss of the entire film was Johnny Storm, played by none other than Chris Evans. After being expelled into the void the Fantastic Four star became an integral part of the rebellion fighting against tyrants like Cassandra Nova. After evading her for an undefined period of time, Johnny decides to put his neck on the line when Deadpool and Wolverine turn up in the void, but that was evidently a mistake on his end. When Deadpool runs his mouth to Cassandra about what Johnny may or may not have said about her, she chooses to brutally strip the hero of his skin immediately killing him. While Deadpool and Wolverine manage to escape the void, Blade Electra Gambit and X-23 remain with a presumably frustrated Cassandra. Cassandra was more than powerful enough to deal with the heroes, but what happens to them is not explicitly shown. The only hero in that group to return in the film's final scene is X-23, who joins Wolverine and Deadpool for a gathering with all their closest loved ones. However the fate of Blade, Elektra, and Gambit is still unknown. However every former villain that came back from X-Men movies to fight Deadpool and Wolverine, like Toad, Psylocke, Azazel, Pyro and Juggernaut among the intimidating forces led by Cassandra, were all sniffed by the hero's band together with the help of a motivated Wolverine and Deadpool. When Deadpool and Wolverine make their leap back to Wade's universe, the bodies of all these villains can be seen littered around the Ant-Man corpse that Cassandra calls home. Deadpool and Wolverine also introduced the Deadpool Corps which is a group of variants of Deadpools consisting of everything, from Kidpool to Lady Deadpool, and even Dogpool. However one variant was never a part of the core, and it may have been down to his tragic lack of a healing factor. Deadpool used the aptly named Nicebull's body as a shield as he tried to evade the onslaught of bullets from the variants. This is also the unfortunate moment that Deadpool learns Nicebull never had a healing factor, and he finally dies riddled with bullets. While Sabretooth was revealed in the Deadpool and Wolverine trailers with a potential battle between the monstrous villain and Wolverine, but the actual fight was very brief. Wolverine appeared to be just as capable as ever, while Sabretooth had clearly aged and become less intimidating. As the pair ran toward each other to fight, Wolverine swiftly sliced through the neck of the Sabretooth, leaving his head just barely hanging onto his body. So guys that's it for today, which character death gives you most chill please tell me in comments, and if you feel this video gives you content please like and share this video, and before going do not forget to hit the subscribe button. Thank you guys, we will see you soon.